Let's take a look at a program called DShaker for your Bogart operating system. The DShaker software is a stabilizer for clips that have too much bounce or shake in them. It's a good program to use especially on handheld shots that would look great if they just weren't so wobbly. You can use the DShaker filter in either the edit menu under special or under your image processing filter bin. Remember if you're going into image processing you're working with the scene up in the storyboard. Then essentially you find alphabetically in your list the filter you wish to use, as in this case DShaker, and then add the filter to the storyboard. The big key difference in image processing compared to special is that you can use this timer box over here to set a range so the filter starts and ends on this clip on the storyboard as you designate it. So with the filter added to the storyboard, you can left click on the range box over here, left click on range and hit OK to open that up and then you use the trim with the in to set the in and the out to set the tail of the shot. So you determine how long this filter will last. Again, this is the way the image processing filter section will work. If you want to apply the filter to the entire scene, you might as well just go over to the edit menu and find your clip in the scene bin and use it under special. That way, when the filter applies to the scene, the new clip will have that filter permanently rendered to it as the next clip in the scene bin. It's kind of creating a layer for it. Let's go ahead and try and find a scene in the scene bin here as we describe the DeShaker software for you. So we're going to look through a series of clips here. We're using some wedding shots here in this case. And we're going to come over here to a wide shot. This is a clip of the wedding uh, preparations. We'll hit play. You can see this shot is a good wide shot but does have some bounce to it. It's a handheld shot that is shaking a little bit. So we're going to use the DeShaker software to see if we can improve this. Again, we're going to go in here into Special, and then alphabetically south of the white line, where you'll find all your image processing filters, you're going to find DeShaker. First off, let's talk about some of the functions here in this program. The first section up here is called Detection. The detection is a pre-processing section that is actually going to try and look at your movements in the camera from one frame to the next. Depending on what setting you use here, whether it's fast, good, or very good, is going to help improve how well it's going to look for those shaky parts of your frames. In most cases, the good or the fast setting will work. We're usually going to probably just leave it set to good. You would use very good if you're going to have a scene that has very low contrast or is a very dark scene. I'm going to leave this set to good. The second section here is called Correction. You're going to choose Correction basically on what should actually be corrected. A standard setting is only going to look for camera movement. Scenes with hard zooms are stabilized and smoothed if you choose the standard plus zoom setting. Unwanted tilting is reduced if you are going to use standard plus rotation. The final mode, called Complete, is going to unite stabilization of movement, zooms, and rotations. For the most part, you're probably going to leave this set to standard. The next section is called Border Correction. The first setting under Border Correction is called None. The None setting isn't going to zoom in on the clip, and it's basically going to result in black borders on your very far edges of the clip as its method of stabilization. That may be preferred, but if you don't want that, the zooming is basically going to zoom into the clip a little bit, which may reduce your resolution a little, but it's going to get rid of those black border edges. It could actually end up giving you a little bit more shake in the clip if it's the wrong type of motion in the clip as well. You may find that you'll find better results using an option here called Reconstruction. The Reconstruction is going to try to reset those black borders or restore them and put in content of the previous or future frames, which is basically going to increase your rendering time but give you a nice full frame shot. The last option here under DeShaking is basically a quality setting. This is directly affecting the strength of the stabilization. You've got options for light, medium, strong, and maximal. If you're going to use the maximal setting, you're going to want to use this where a scene focuses on one point and doesn't pan. For the most part, you'll probably find your best results by setting this to medium. The options you see here are the best default settings that we'll recommend for you when using the DeShaker software. Leave your detection set to good, your correction set to standard, your border correction set to reconstruction, and DeShaking set to medium. The DeShaker software does not have a full PDF manual to download. All the information we've talked about here can be found under the I button for info under this program. It has five different pages that will give you a good description of what each one of these buttons will do for you. 
Let's go ahead and hit OK to start the rendering process. What you're going to notice is the pre-processing. This was the first thing that we set up under detection to give a good look at how it's shaking and how well of a job we're going to look for those shaking parts. Once this section is complete, the actual rendering of the effect will start. Again, depending on your settings, the length of your clip, you may find that this scene or this particular clip of rendering will take a little bit of time. Other settings may increase this rendering time or decrease it, so you'll find that a clip will render a little quicker for you. Once this clip is done rendering, we're going to take a look at the two examples. Again, as we notice in the special scene bin, when you have your original clip, you'll find the new copy, permanently layered, is the DeShaker filter. Now right now it's kind of difficult to tell this actually had a shake to it originally. The best way to see is this filter actually working for you is to do a little split screen effect. We're going to show you how you can do a nice little comparison to quickly check and see does this actually help you or not. First, go ahead and add the scene of the original clip to the storyboard and then follow that with the filtered scene. You'll notice that the filtered scene is labeled SP to give you a special effect indication. We'll add that up after the original shot on the storyboard. If you go over to the transitions menu, and you can use this hotkey to take yourself over to transitions, one of the filters that you'll get with your system on the bonus effects package, the effects package that you'll get when you register your machine, you'll find a filter called split screen. So we'll scroll down here to split screen. Go ahead and add the filter to the storyboard and then go ahead and increase the time length of this transition. That way the transition lasts the entire length of the two clips. Over here under your settings, make sure your fade time is set to zero. That means that the split screen effect won't fade on or fade off and leave it set to 50%. You can set this direction to be either left or right depending on how you want to view the clip. Go ahead and hit create or you can do a preview and you'll already notice right here there's a little bit of a divider line right down the middle to show you which clip is which. You can probably tell here immediately as we play it back. On the right is the rendered clip, on the left was original. Let's take a look at that again. Here's the original clip shaking around. On the right is the more stabled clip. So you can see that that stabilizer actually helped that clip out. Let's try another example. Down in the scene bin, we have a clip here in the wedding shot. This has a little bit of a camera movement. So here's the original. It has a little bit of a shake to it. Let's see if the shaker will help it out. Let's go under special. And under the shaker, again, we're going to try and go ahead and leave these original settings here. Good, standard, reconstruction, and medium. If you rendered the clip and found that it either bounced more or didn't seem to improve it, Try experimenting and giving a different change to some of these settings. I'd recommend that you might want to use a shorter length clip, maybe a couple seconds or so. That way, if one of these changes increases the rendering time, you don't have to sit here for so long and wait for it. Please also note that smart rendering is not going to function with this particular filter. Let's go ahead and hit OK and start the pre-processing set. We're going to go ahead and speed this up for the purpose of the demo and then show you the example when it's completed. Okay, so the new clip is now created. Here's our original. We'll hit play. So you can see the original. Watch these edges and how it's shaking around a little bit. And now here's the new clip. See how much smoother that is on the motion? The different settings that you use in DeShaker will definitely affect how you stabilize the image. Changes can affect the border edge and that rendering speed when you create it. Please keep in mind that using clips with very violent shaking will be impossible to correct. The DeShaker software can only improve so much on a bouncy scene. So check out DeShaker for your Bogart system software. You'll find it's a really great program that won't lower your quality too much when you do stabilize clips that greatly need some assistance.